Well, hello, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me again on another live update about the business. Now, you've heard me say it a thousand times, and I will say it for another thousand times. I can't thank you enough for your support and your encouragement that has been there, not just from the point where Viva MK started, but from long, long before. It's your support and your encouragement that has got to us to where we are today. I kid you not, without that, nothing that we've achieved would or could have been possible. So never ever tire of me saying thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouragement. You know, that gratitude towards you, every single person within Viva MK will always always be part of what I talk about, what I tell you, what I constantly bleat about every single time we speak. So last week I launched, um, well I didn't launch because you already knew it was coming, um, uh, that confirmed our Viva MK New Beginnings Showcase on the 24th of February. And I told you at the beginning of December, we'll start issuing the tickets and give you more, more details. I mean, all you need to know for now, it's in the center of Birmingham. It will be on the 24th of February. That just happens to be a Sunday. It's really not far from Grand Central Station for those of you uh, getting local transport in, but I'll let you have more details that and ticket options um, in the next few weeks. So yesterday, I had my first real Viva MK leaders meeting. Now, before we go into that, let me just explain to you what I believe in my humble opinion on how business and businesses work and especially ours. Now, it's just my opinion on business, so it doesn't have to be yours, but it, you know, it's the way I believe business works. You get three main phases in a business. And let's not talk about any business, let's talk about our business. Three main phases. The first phase is the excitement phase where you get rapid growth. You get a lot of people coming in. There's huge excitement, massive euphoria about the business. And that's good because that's what you create. That's what we collectively create. Like I said in my commentary earlier, um, the secret of our success is working together. So you get that. That's how we very quickly reach the one million pound turnover mark. Now, let's just put that into perspective. It's not straightforward to get to a million. Million is a very nominal uh, point or a landmark, a milestone in, the, in, in any business. Now, we reached ours way ahead of forecast. I mean way, way ahead of forecast. Our original forecast was aiming at the beginning of 2019 to hit the £1 million turnover. Well, we've surpassed that long ago. Um, you know, in, in the coming months, I'll give you lots more figures and facts. But just for now, we passed that one million mark. That's what happens in the excitement phase. Lots of people come on board. Our numbers are in excess of 5,000. OK, they're not all active. So let's keep that into perspective. So we hit the million mark. A lot of people coming on board, a lot of excitement, a lot of growth, a lot of energy and anticipation in the business and that's good for any business and that happens in lots and lots of businesses but it really did happen in Viva MK. Then comes the reality phase. I'm not sure where the reality phase actually comes in but it's in the middle part of a business. What I call the reality phase is, is where you've now seen that initial growth, you've seen people come on board, you've seen that excitement. What you now have to do is fix and coordinate all the things that make Make it possible to go to the next phase. If you don't do that fix in the middle, you cannot possibly grow after that. So you get the excitement, you get the reality. And for us, the reality is systems, processes, getting all that in place. And, we, and you have to work on that. Because alongside having such uh, incredible growth, a million pounds coming in and far surpassing that, that in itself brings its own challenges. Any system getting a million pounds poured in with 5,000 people behind it is going to have challenges, systems and processes that need to be put right. That's the reality phase. I believe our business is in there, although I do believe the excitement phase and the growth and all that um, energy is still going on. So we kind of overlap the two and that's quite common in business as well. But the third piece, 
The third part of business is the most important step in any business. And it's the one that many, 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 many companies get wrong. But you know what? We're not going to get it wrong, which is one of the reasons for my leaders meeting yesterday. It was just a collection of people that I believe have, you know, represent a lot of the business. And that was what it was about. They represent many, much of the business. And we talked about how we go on to that next phase. The excitement's happening, the reality's happening, but the next phase is what I call the new beginnings phase. Hence, the new beginnings showcase, the new beginnings catalogue. It's a new beginning because it's in that third phase that most businesses actually fail because they've got the excitement, they've got the reality, but the next phase, the new beginnings phase, requires a new strategy, a new plan, a new way forward. However, You must never, ever forget your core principles. And our core principles, like I've said to you right from day one, are growth, spirit and partnership. So under the umbrella of growth, spirit and partnership, our real core values, you have to put into place a renewed strategy based on what you've learnt in the excitement phase of the business. Well, that's where we are today. So our meeting yesterday was just a connection of ideas, a formulation of strategies and the way we're going to go forward in the new beginnings phase. Now, we didn't just conjure the new beginnings thing up. As you know, I've been talking about new beginnings for weeks and weeks and weeks. We even named our next catalogue new beginnings. We've even named our showcase new beginnings because I always knew that 2019 would be when we have to restructure. We have to put a new strategy in. We have to learn what we've done for the first few months, learn from that and look at a plan going forward. Well, I'll tell you something. It was a very exciting and interesting meeting. Firstly, because most of us were in agreement, which is very unusual for a collection of people that all have ideas and opinions and ways things should go, should go. We all had very similar plans and opinions. So it's entirely based around growth. You know, we've come so far, and I'm not, not going to say that, that phrase, we've come so far, and that has built the foundation of where we need to take the business going forward. So the new beginning phase will have all kinds of things. It will have possibly a different structure on catalogues. It could have the fact that I will relook at our sales plan because I always put a caveat in there that we would run it for a few months and then check to see where it is and what it needs doing and if necessary, change that. And the great thing about our Viva K- MK businesses is that we can change as we go along. We can adapt. We are that flexible that we can get together with a group of people in a room like we did yesterday, talk about the global business, not from the perspective of one person or one team. That's where some companies do fail because they look at it from the perspective of one individual or one team. No, no, everybody has to have a global view of the business. Don't ever forget that. Anything that we try and do is for the global business, the whole business that affects every single individual in the organization. You cannot make decisions based on one team or one leg or one person. It has always got to be global. So do we have a global plan? Well, I've always had a global plan in my mind. I always knew there was going to be a new beginnings phase three of the business. And the plan, so you know, yes, is based around those core principles of growth, spirit and partnership. Most importantly, I mean, all three things are very important. We'll always maintain that partnership. I do believe we'll always have the spirit that we have in this incredible business, thanks to the way you people are. Um, But the growth, it's all going to be about sustainable growth. And don't forget that word sustainable. You know, I've seen a lot of businesses that grow very fast and disappear very fast, grow very fast, disappear very fast. What is the goddamn point of that? You've got to grow, but you've got to have sustainability. Sustainability comes in two ways. One, sustainable for the company. So you want the golden goose, what you call the company, um, the mothership that stays, you know, strong and virile and maintains that growth. And of course, people growing the organization. Well, we have a robust plan for um 
2019, which will involve all of that. So I know there's many people excited about the organization now. Well, in reference of where we want to take the business and what we want to do with it and how we go into that new beginnings phase, I personally believe it's going to be bigger than anything we've done to date. And look, the, the route we took was a very brave one. What we did without plan or agenda, without, you know, even a, a, an immense strategy, we just, we just plunged headfirst into this business just on the back of leaps of faith. That's what we did. We had a leap of faith. I believed in the people. The people believed in us. And together we just leapt and we did it. And we got this far. So imagine when you put all of that together and you create a strategy and a plan to take it forward. Well, we got the formulation of that yesterday. We're all on the same track. We'll share all those details with you coming into the new year and towards the end of this year. You'll see a lot more of that at the new beginnings showcase but it is going to be a new beginning for the business whether that means a restructure um, of our sales plan to make it more um, retailer focused well it's already quite retailer focused but it, to, to make it even more team builder focused or whether it's going to be the, the, the type of products that we have and the ranges of products. Every single aspect of the business in the new beginnings phase is taken into consideration. And it has to be because we have to create a plan to go forward and take the business forward. And I know we can do that because if we've come this far already, just with a leap of faith, just with the faith in each other, just with the excitement and, and, and the anticipation and the energy. If we've done that up till now and just kind of built it as we're going along, well, that's created the foundation we needed, the foundation of people, the foundation of business. And that gives you that steady foundation to build the rest upon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we're going to do. Yes, at the moment, they all sound like words, but you know, uh, I'd like to think that everything that we've done has almost been on the timeline that I said it would be. There are some things that fall off, of course there are, there always will be. But you know, in respect, respect to going forward, I want this business like you want this business to be absolutely immense. I've told you some of my targets for 2019. I'll not only express those targets again, but I'll put a form, formulate a plan behind it so you know exactly how it's going to happen. And I know that we can do it. So, of course, thank you for all of you joining. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, you know, you're, I'm not really brilliant at this Facebook business and Facebook videoing, but apparently I'm supposed to ask you to say hello. Now, I, the reason I never have is because my eyesight's so bad I can't actually see what's happening on the screen, which is why I don't ask you to wave or say hello or to even hashtag replay, which I'm supposed to ask you. But I suppose you know more than that than I do. All I do is come on here um, and express what I believe the business is doing and an update. So, you know, if you've already got confidence in this business, I'd like to think your confidence is going to be even greater over the coming weeks and as we go into 2019. There's only six weeks of this year left. We're gonna make those count. We're gonna carry on building the business, but the most exciting phase is that phase three. Remember what I said? You take what you've learned. You build a new strategy based around your core principles of growth, spirit and partnership. And then with those core values at the center of it, you continue to build and you go forward. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, the way we've performed so far collectively, and that is the secret of our success, collectively and together, the way we have performed so far, I'm telling you, there's absolutely no way this business has any direction to go than upwards. And that is already happening. That's happening in our reality phase. It's certainly happening in our excitement phase. Imagine what it's going to be like when we gather all our core principles and we build upon those. And, you know, let's not forget we are brand spanking new, you know, it's barely been, you know, we haven't had our first six months, we're long away from our first six months. Um, 
and to come this far is phenomenal. And like I always said, is why I said right at the beginning, it's your support right at the center of it. It's your support that's been integral to bring us where we are. Um, that's kind of what the message I wanted to get across today is that whatever confidence you have, and it is phenomenal looking at the continuous growth we're getting in the business, in the reality phase where we are now, where you fix processes, you get ready for the growth, you gear up. As we go into the new beginning phase, whatever you've seen, whatever you've witnessed so far, it's only ever going to get greater. Because we're in this together, like my statement says, um, the secret of our success is that we're working together and we will continue to do that. Now, like on every live, I normally get stitched up with a couple of products. Well, luckily I'm not in the office today, but that didn't stop them stitching me up with a couple of products. And I suppose it gives me a chance to just talk about products very briefly. You have a number of types of products. You can have innovative products that people will buy from you because they've never seen it anywhere else. That's one kind of product. Now those, those get increasingly hard to get, but you always try and get the products that nobody else can buy anywhere else. So then you have um, you, you, you have a selective audience because they've never seen it. Now, I've done that with many products in the past um, in previous businesses, but innovative products, that's one way. Second is just give people what they want. You know, they want a particular type of cleaner, try and give it to them. They've asked for a certain kind of product, try and give it to them. Every day essential products, things that people use and want every day. For example, like these scrubbers. Now, it might be the dullest product on the planet we live on today. I wouldn't even know how to use a scrubber myself, but my point is, it's a common everyday product. Now, it missed the Essentials catalogue because the supplier of them came too late and didn't want to launch the catalogue with something that wasn't, uh, didn't give a, a permanent date for coming in. But my point about this is, it's not that I'm trying to sell this or that I'm trying to suggest that's what all our range is about. If you have innovative products and then you have products that everybody actually wants and uses. Um, so this soap filled steel wool pads, which are actually online um, because we couldn't get them in the catalog quick enough, um, may not be an exciting product. It may not be an innovative product. It may not even be a product that you've ever seen before. Well, I don't think I have, um, but the point is, it's an everyday, very low cost product that people want to buy. Now, the profit on this may not be huge, but when you sell a product like this to your customer, what you get is a captivation of market. So what they think is, oh, I'll buy that. Then they may just look through the catalog and look for other things, and that's how it works. They might buy, might buy a very cheap product like this, which has its uses, directions, directions for use, moisten pad and rub gently over area to be cleaned. That's what it says, and that's what it does. So they may buy something that they could buy anywhere. If the price is good, they'll buy it, and they'll look at other things, and they'll be happy that you've captivated that market and they've got something new. So that's what I mean by those kind of products. Then you get products like this. You see what I mean about the staff at head office? Um, I'm just glad that this has got a label on it because without that label, I wouldn't know what to do with this. And once again, no suggestions, thank you very much. But what this is, is an extendable microfiber duster. Now I've had run-ins with dusters before, as you well and truly know, because once upon a time, we talk about ostrich uh, feather dusters um, and you know we sold hundreds of them. Um, but nevertheless, this is an extendable microfiber duster. That's very, very soft, that is. Um, but my point about this is, is not just because it's quirky and it's pink, and if it hadn't been for this label, I wouldn't have known what the hell that was. Um, it's not because I don't dust, I dust all the time, but I've just not seen one of these. Well, I don't dust all the time, but I dust some of the time. Um, so, in again, 
everybody has dusters. Whereas this product is just common and it's normal and it's every day and it should be at a good price where people think, oh, I'll buy that because then they'll, you'll captivate the market. This is slightly quirkier because never in all my time have I seen something that looks like that. Not in, uh, in our ranges anyway. And then the fact that it actually extends. Now that to me looks like one of those old, now showing my age now, old car aerials with a big pink thing stuck on the end of it. But that's not the point. It's not what I think about it. The point is that is an extendable microfiber dust. I always feel like somebody stitched me up with these products because they find it very, uh, ah. Uh, and it's also clearly um, pivotable, if that's what you call it. I didn't break that you can actually um, bend it. So I guess you could then extend it and at that quirky angle, um, maybe try and do some dusting. So I guess you could, if, if I was now dusting this photo frame behind me, I suspect I could do this, something like that. If I could, be, if I could stretch it far, far enough, you could do that. Maybe that's what that little, um, pivot is there for anyway the point the point isn't that 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 this is a quirky product the point is it's an everyday product you know if we can help supply to our customers one innovation number two everyday kind of products even the ones that are slightly quirky and number three um, the kind of products that they didn't think they ever wanted, but they'll have because they've just seen them in our catalogue. Now, that's a good kind of product for somebody as well. So innovation, things they've never seen before and think, wow, I'll have one of those. Um, normal everyday products, scrubbers and dusters. Um, and then thirdly, products that they see and they're hard to find products and, and they like them for the fact that they've not seen them before. Very soon, not quite innovation, but something they, they've thought of, but, 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 but they've not seen it. If, for example, that. That would be a typical product of that variety where, you know, you, you would see it, think, oh, I could do with one of that because I've got a, a photo, a, a painting that I want to dust. Anyway, so where products are concerned, we will continue to try and innovate as much as possible. Of course, that does take time. And I've always said that we extend the ranges next year and that has continued to go um, build and build. Uh, you will get another brand new catalogue, the New Beginnings catalogue, in fact, based on all the things I've been talking about today, which is going to be with you, like I've always said, late November, very early December. So just a few weeks, the Essentials catalogue, the new one, which people tell me look very much like the last one, but nevertheless, that new one is out there and you know we're already, already getting incredible sales from it. So that's good. That's going out there with fuller penetration. And in just a matter of weeks, you'll have the new beginnings catalog, which will be a lot more products like this. It'll have more innovation in it. Um, just more products that your customers want or they believe they've not seen and they want them because they're quirky. So anyway, Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've taken enough of your time today. I really appreciate you joining me on this Thursday Live, which has become a bit of a tradition, but it gives me the opportunity to live tell you what's happening in the business. And to say that yesterday's leaders seminar meeting was exciting is the understatement of the year. You know, I always knew there was going to be a new beginnings phase. That's why we've always used that terminology. But to see it falling into place, to see people, um, you know, wanting the, it, the business to grow for saying the kind of things that we need to build on the foundation that we collectively have already put into place in such a short period of time. So there we have it. Barely six months in the business, far, far from six months. In fact, we only started selling in mid-July. So um, the business has got immense potential, excitement, the reality, the new beginnings, stick to the core principles that we have already and we can't possibly go wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in again. I uh, will speak to you next week. Um, and of course, as ever, keep your communication coming. It's very, very important. And remember, the reason we are successful is because 
we are doing this together. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.